Welcome to my channel, Catherine the Paint. Today I am doing one of my most requested techniques, which is a flower trinket bowl. And I'm doing a magenta one today. I haven't done the color, so I thought it'd be fun. So I am using some glitters from Michaels, and I'm using a plain gold glitter and also a magenta heart and a gold hollow heart shape and mixing it together and that's going to be the center. So um, for this technique I always use the KS Resin um, liquid art. I like the visco vis viscosity and it really holds the petals. So um, I think it's important not to use something that's too um, liquidy because then your petals won't form. So the ingredients though for this is really simple. So you just use the casting craft mixed in a little bit of resin and then whatever alcohol ink you would like to color it and I had meant to put magenta in the color in the resin before I poured it in there and so then I realized that so then I just kept adding magenta to the petal color because I didn't want to take the resin back out but, um, so on this technique, I use a cup and a baggie, and then I, the baggie has to be flat ended, and you just dump your petal color mixture into the baggie, and then I set that aside, because I realized that I really actually still want the magenta in the resin for the bowl, so the bowl will actually be magenta too. So I'm not getting it all out, I'm just enough to <laughs> make it mostly magenta. So on the coaster I went ahead and left it clear so we could see which one we like better, whether it's with the clear or with the two drops of magenta added to the resin. So I'm just pouring that back in. And um, spreading it around. You want to make sure you do not touch the bottom of your mold with that stick because it will scratch it. So now I've really wrestled up this resin so I had to hit it with a heat gun really good because it had bubbles in it. So on the baggie you just twist it and get all the air out and then zip, lock, zip it shut and then you cut off the end with a pair of scissors just really lightly and when you do that you test it on your paper so that you can see if it's going to make a line because you don't want it to come gushing out but you also don't want to be struggling with it either so so I put some of the glitter in the center and then I just started making my petals on the piping it doesn't have to be exact just pipe it in there and you can straighten it up with a tool at the end. I missed somehow the video stopped on the blowing it out part. So just use your heat gun and go around twice blowing it in toward the center and I'm going to link a video below if you need more detail than that. So um, y'all can watch that if you want to see more detail. This is a dotting tool that I use to straighten up my piping. So to tell when it's ready, you touch the edge, and if it's not sticky at all anymore, then um, it is ready. Don't do it when it's sticky, because then it'll like give you problems. It will wrinkle and have other problems too. So I stopped and put gloves on, because I realized I really actually don't want to leave fingerprints on this. So it's best to use gloves too. So then you just kind of cup it bend it up into a bowl shape and then form it into your bowl and then put the other bowl on top and then put something heavy on top of that and then you just let it set and up oh, now we're demolding the coaster so we will come for close-ups after we demold the bowl So it's quick and easy, it just pops right out of there. All right, let's go in for close-ups. Here's the bowl. I am actually really glad that I went ahead and dumped the resin back in and added the magenta. Look at those petals, loving it. 
You guys didn't get to see me actually blowing out, or blowing it in. And um, so I will link a video below where I'm actually using the heat gun to blow it in. I go around twice, just pushing it in. And this is the result you get. I love it. So, um, yeah. It's really, really bright. <laughs> it's fun. All right, so here's the one with the clear. The petals still turned out really, really pretty, but I really do like it better on the magenta background than the clear. What do you guys think? It's just personal preference. All right, guys, let me know if you're going to try this piping thing. It's really fun. It's kind of awkward the first time. But um, it just gets easier and easier. So look at that center. How I added the hearts. The magenta colored hearts. You can see them in there. And even the gold hearts. You can kind of see it in there. It's subtle but it's there. <laughs> it's so fun. Thanks guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. be inspired.